What's going on guys, this is Tall Rick with Urban Cow Gaming and I'm here to deliver another Minecraft tutorial for you. Uh, this one is on ore processing, specifically tier 1 and 2. So let's just start get started on the build then. So what you'll need for this is uh, some form of power. In this case it's coming from this creative energy cube. It can come from heat generators starting off, it can come from uh, biofuel generators, it doesn't really matter. You'll obviously obviously need some uh, universal cables. Uh, you'll need the enrichment chamber and the energized smelter. And uh, if you want them to not be right next to each other, you'll also need a logistical transporter. First I'll get the power situated, and this is just tier 1 right here. And that's all of tier 1. So I'll just put this in a chest. So if you want them to be right next to each other, uh, I'll show, the, show you the configuration here. So, you go into this, the side config. Um, in this case, uh, the output is designated on the right side. As you can see there, it's going to shoot out that way. So I'm going to turn on Auto Eject, which will make it eject its product into the Energized Smelter here. And I'll do the same here. So, if I put this Iron Ore in here, They'll become two dust, and then it gets su sucked into the energized smelter. Then it becomes ingots. Coming up in the same video is going to be tier two. All right, so now we're on to tier three. So for tier three, you need a few more machines and some logistical things. Uh, first, you'll need the crusher, the purification chamber, an electrolytic separator, an electric pipe, and you'll have to add uh, mechanical pipes and pressurized tubes. For tier 3, uh, you put the crusher so that it feeds into the enrichment chamber. And then you put the purification chamber so it feeds into the crusher. You'll also need the electrolytic separator. And for this, the left side is hydrogen and the right side is oxygen. Uh, you're going to want the oxygen for this. So with your purification chamber, I'd say the easiest way to do this is like so. Uh, you can bury it even deeper if you want. You take your pressurized tube, connect it here, um, and then go right like that so it uh, feeds into the bottom. Uh, make sure your side config is good. Uh, the bottom is set to accept oxygen, so that's good. And then this is where the electric pipe comes in, so that just gets placed uh, just about anywhere. I need a block. The electric pipe gets powered from the side, so actually I'm going to put it this way. So you'll run your, uh, your universal cable. Uh, I'm going to run it from the top. So the electric pipe uh, sucks water or lava, but in this case it's going to be water. So we just place that there, it'll start sucking water, and we use the mechanical pipe coming from the top, and then down into the front of the electrolytic separator, which then converts the, hydro uh, the water into hydrogen and oxygen. Um, we don't need the hydrogen just at this moment, we can use it for power generation later. Um, but to make sure that doesn't fill up and stop the process, um, we have it dump excess. And then that is the way you get uh, three times return on ore. So if I put an iron ore in there, that becomes three iron clumps. And then that goes into the crusher, which becomes dirty clumps, or dirty iron dust, which then goes into the enrichment chamber which then becomes regular iron dust, which then goes into the energized smelter, which then becomes iron ingots. Uh, the reason why I'm doing these videos now is because ore processing is foundational to the rest of the mod. So in the future, if I do a tutorial on, say, fissile fuel, I'll reference part of the ore processing, because that's where it's going to come from, and then you'll have the uh, ability to go back to these videos and see what I'm talking about when I 
when I grab certain resources from the ore processing build for uh, the different resources in the rest of the mod. I want to thank you for watching. Tier 3 is going to be coming soon, followed by Tier 4. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Alright, it's time for the end of the show where I ramble for a little while. I want to thank you again for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitch if you want to see us live stream. That would be myself, Julian, and Cam, although you've seen very little of them thus far on the YouTube channel. Uh, can't promise I'll be doing Minecraft stuff on that, but you'll probably expect more Minecraft tutorials here on YouTube. If you want to see anything else, go ahead and leave a, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any other mods you want me to look into, I can do that as well. I told you I'd be rambling for a while. So, yeah, uh, subscribe or don't. Uh, like the video or don't. I, I don't know. What am I even doing? <laughs> this is an unusually long one. People are going to be like, whoa, why is this video so long? They're not going to be like that because it's like six six minutes and 39 seconds right now, but they're going to be like, wow, is this the rest of the video? Is him just rambling into a microphone? Yes. Yes, it is. I'll see you next time.